Now, there may be some of you guys that are coming in here and seeking immediate knowledge about UFT, but I realize that I can't give you that right now. It would be a big mistake if I just open up the tool and start using it and start showing you guys what to do with it. Because as I have found, there are many individuals with a very fundamental misunderstanding about what automated software testing is, what its purpose is, and how to conduct it appropriately. If you guys just know how to use a tool and you don't understand the methodology and you don't understand the purpose of quality assurance or testing in general, then you will not be a good automation engineer because automation engineers have the same job as the entire IT industry, which is to provide quality software. And so I have to tell you guys how to do that. I have to teach you guys how to work in such an environment in order to ensure quality software. And only after you comprehend what comprises quality software and how to get there, can you pick up a tool and start using it to help you achieve that goal. Because you cannot pick up a tool and start trying to achieve some goal if you don't know what that goal is, right? It doesn't make any sense. So we're gonna get started with the very basic concepts of how to work in an agile environment and how to produce quality software and the ultimate goal of quality assurance. So the ultimate goal of developing software, probably for any company, at least I hope, is that they have some kind of a need that they want to meet for a customer. A customer has some desire, has something that they want done. And here comes along a software development company and they say, hey, we can fulfill your need. We can do it in this amount of time. It will cost you this much money. And that's how software development occurs. And the goal of software development is to produce the highest quality software that you can in the fastest amount of time possible while making sure that the market is still relevant. And so that's where the idea of the agile environment came along. There was an older model called Waterfall where companies used to spend many months if not years, working on a piece of software before it was delivered to a client. Now, let's say that piece of software was something like qtptutorial.net. And let's say we were working on that website for one year before we released it to the public. Now, one year in IT is a very long time because many things can happen during that time. For example, QTP may go out of business and the site may be completely irrelevant after one year. And so, we just spent one year of our time making a software, making an application that is now completely irrelevant. Furthermore, the problem with old waterfall methodologies is that you delivered the product to the client after such a long time that as soon as you delivered it, they saw the product that they had asked for and they wanted to make many more changes. And so now you dropped it on their plate. They say, it's okay, but the rest of this sucks. So please replace it. And so now you had to spend all this other time replacing everything that you had just developed. And so those are the problems with waterfall methodology. And that is why it's dying. And that's why many companies are now implementing what's called scrum methodology. And specifically, I'm going to talk about agile. 